as I was putting together coursework for Project YouTube, I had to do some research. This is the first time I've looked at this data in years. I'm going to show you my first year on YouTube. There, there are many people who want to be successful on YouTube and it's very possible, but when you're brand new and no one knows who you are and what you do, what you're about, they're not going to watch you. I mean, I know you see people, they'll put up some weird video, they'll go viral and you know, they're on Good Day America, Good Morning America. Those are atypical human interest stories. Now, this is what's going to happen to you more likely. You may have immediate success. You could be blessed by a popular blogger or someone with a massive YouTube channel. And they're like, hey, go check out XYZ. That can happen. But more than likely, it's not going to happen. This is what's going to happen. This is this is my first day. I got two views my first day on YouTube. Two. That was that was yeah. Two views. Two. And what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna show you something. I didn't know it was that. <laughs> I didn't know it was like that until I looked at it. And I was just like blown away. Two. Two views in a 24-hour cycle. Okay. All right. So this is that video. Let's go back. And let's see. Let's go back to the first day two views then it got 11 the next day or something like that but it now has 26,000 views let's go in analytics I don't know how many people are watching this this is my first time looking at this in years so 147 people are watching this in the last 28 days for some reason it spiked that day don't know why but typically it's still oh there's one <laughs> nah. <laughs> two views I mean that's messing with me I didn't know it was like that but this is what's gonna happen this when you first start this this is the deal this is where it is now this is the first month. Not, not a whole lot of action there. Then I started to get a little sexier. I moved up, moved up. Now look, I'm, I'm, I'm going slow to show you. I was not setting the earth on fire. Yeah, here's December. Took a dip, kind of went back up, went up a little bit. That apparently was my highest day ever. And I didn't get back there <laughs> for quite some time. Let's see, 388, got close, kind of flirted. That was the first year, 49,000 views. The first full 12 months. And notice something? There's no AdSense. Couldn't get it. Wasn't eligible. Now, let's do this. Let's change that. That is incorrect. There we go. I'm doing this to tell you that because I had someone who became very, very frustrated with me because I didn't say this was going to be easy. Now, let's look at this. Um, still limping along here. Limping along. 
then, you know, got to look, you know, we started doing stuff, you know, we started doing stuff then. <laughs> it was a roller coaster. But I had 12 times more view the 12 times more views the second year. Go back to year one, year two. Now, let's do this. Let's put a little shine on it. I'm just doing this to give you an idea of how long this stuff takes. So, did a little bit better, and it's starting to even out. You know, there's a little, you know, but it's not looking like someone having a heart attack on the uh, EKG. Right? This is the third year. My first year, I did a million views in one year. Now, this is where it's going to get funky. Because there's so many people who want to get views, who want to get the recognition, that they want to just leap frog all over this ugly section of paying your dues, learning. All right, this is the third year. Now, if you noticed, I went down. I was there. Then I went down. And what happened? I, ch I did a pivot. I changed my message. I changed what I was doing. So I lost a lot of people. If I had kept on with storage auctions and just hit it hard and maybe went out, I would have got the views, but I would have not earned the revenues that I did because it's a different kind of crowd. Now let's go here and do this. You know, because I've kind of pivoted and uh, I've changed the message. I kind of freaked people out. So, a little redemption. I came back, kept pushing it. Now, this is what's really cool because I kept going in this new direction. And for any of you who have channels and you want to change your topics, oh, this is what you're going to go through. I highly recommend you start a second channel and just start from scratch and go through the ugly phase. Now, this is what's cool. You see this number, right? Let's go to this year, which is halfway over in two weeks. Six months and two weeks. So I did, you know, uh, this is coming up on, yeah, August. Yeah, August 6th would be the sixth year. So I'm kind of, well, let's just put this one. I'm just going from, I'll do it correctly so I don't get confused. But this is from January up until now. That was a whole year. So I have done in six months what took me a year to do. Now, let's do this thing. Custom range. Go from 14. And I just felt like doing this because today is the anniversary of the day I made a decision to become a writer. It's kind of interesting. So we'll go, yeah, we'll do it because, you know, it's almost a year. We'll do that. We'll do it this way. Now we'll, we'll go here. And we'll see what the, because I haven't done this before. Okay. So probably 1.8 million views in my sixth year. So now I'm moving in the right direction and you've got this, 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 a wild spike. I know what happened. Some group embedded some videos and they went crazy. Then people are like, he cusses too much. <laughs> then they did it again. <laughs> it was kind of funny, but I don't know what's going to happen with that in the future. 
But I, I'm, I'll just tell you this. You know, we'll just, you know, this is how it goes. This, this is how it goes. And if you are in a topic, and I'll just be straight up with you. Resale is a topic that 99.8% of Americans don't give a damn about. This is not what they want to do. This is not their thing. Uh, people hit resale channels when they're broke, disgusted, can't find a job. That's when they usually come to resale because they need to turn a dollar into 15 cents. I mean, they need to turn 15 cents into a dollar. They have to have that kind of ROI. It has to be there. So if you bring that type of attitude to YouTube channel, it's going to be very, very frustrating because there's so many people that jumped into the store charging craze, had channels, they're gone. Some of them haven't posted in years, in years, because they were riding that wave and they didn't really have a plan. What, what I'm telling you is, you take my course, I'm going to give you the right and proper way to do it. And just to be straight up, it's not going to be overnight. I can give you some accelerators, but still, you're looking at a good solid year of hard work before you really see certain uh, action. Because, like I said, it's my niche. Now, say I was a girl doing makeup. Oh, if I put the effort that I put into this channel into that type of niche, I might be at a billion views. Your niche is the most important part of your YouTube program. I cannot stress that enough. People are like, oh, well, you know, it's about my passion. No, I have studied YouTube for six years. There's just certain niches that just do phenomenally well and other ones not so well. And do not give me the exception to the rule or an outlier. It's like, well, see, this guy does this. Then you go look at the other 20 channels in that niche and they're all sucking ass. Not to say that their videos are poor quality, but there's just not enough interest for them to get a lot of views. That's why you need to sell a product to make money on YouTube quickly. I'll tell you, my AdSense income, or the income for the channel, I should say, has never been enough that I could live on. Not even close. And at one point, I think I was doing 1500 a month for a few months, and then they opened up the AdSense pool to everyone. And some stuff went down, <laughs> it got cut in half, because the money that was in the pool was finite. You you saw a lot of YouTubers get hurt because they were dependent upon the AdSense money. And then when they opened it up and diluted the pool, it was brutal. It was very, very brutal. And I remember when that happened and a lot of YouTubers were making blogs. It's like, hey, I can't pay my mortgage. I can't pay my car note. That's why you have to be in control of your destiny. Because, I mean, I'll just be straight up. My YouTube channel is okay. You know, um, let's see. Let's do this. Let's go to Social Blade. Because I used to be, I will tell you, when I was in doing the storage auction thing, I was a solid A. I was rocking and rolling. But I am, I was a C last time I checked. Ooh, I've moved up. Now I am a C plus. I feel so special. I got a plus by my name now. But that's the that's how this thing works. And this is a, a really good thing to do for your channel. Just come in here and it's just estimates, but sometimes they're pretty, pretty close. Pretty, pretty close. And just use it as a guide to see what's going on. Check out other people's channels. Uh, there was someone who bought a bunch of views and Social Blade showed it because there was just this, like this massive sp spike 
of no subscribers. They had bought like eight hundred subscribers. <laughs> it was just like damn. And oh yeah, just just don't do that. Don't buy subscribers. Don't buy views. Don't don't. I'm telling you, at some point it's gonna come back and bite you in the ass. Because either they're going to take the views away or they're going to shut down your channel. And they will not do it like, say, you were doing it two years ago and you stopped. When they catch up with you, they will still get rid of your channel or take the views away. If they take the views away, that's not so bad. But Or take the subscribers away, that's not so bad. But if they tank your channel after you've built it, woo. That could be really rough. Really, really rough. But just a note to what it takes. And now that I've given you all of this stuff where you're just like, oh, God, that's horrible. That's just terrible. I don't know if I want to do YouTube. I'm going to tell you, hands down, YouTube and video is the best lead generation device on the planet if you can do it well uh one of the reasons that because you know check out some of your favorite people say they have a youtube channel then go check out their facebook channel it's easier to get likes on facebook than it is for you like my page one two click done you see people with huge page likes and they got page rank and everything but I can't sell shit. And then other ones are crushing it. And there's a reason that they're using paid advertising. And paid advertising is not a bad thing. But if you don't have the income to play that game because you're just like, hey, I don't have to spend a lot of money. I've only found a few paid promotions that you can get an incredible bang for the buck. And Facebook's not one of them. Facebook used to be like that. I had a friend who was doing dark posts before everyone knew what dark post was. She got a, she put up a page and within maybe three days, she had a thousand likes. And I think she spent five bucks. Those days are over. They're gone because people are going to be spending a massive amount of money for the targeting abilities of Facebook. But just like people are tuning out traditional advertising, they're going to tune out Facebook because Maybe because I'm in the game, I just don't click on ads on Facebook. And if I click, I have never bought anything. Now, I will tell you, the biggest demographic on Facebook that buys are females. So if you're doing a lipstick thing or you've got purses, <clears throat> you're selling shoes or fab, disregard what I just said, because that is your oasis. That is, that's for, if you're selling products that are targeting women, oh, knock yourself out. That's where they are. And they buy, they buy bras. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. Cause you know, I started talking to people. So that's a big demographic that will buy on Facebook. And if you've got that kind of product that will appeal to that demographic, you can make a killer bank. Now the thing is, if you've got the right presence, you can make killer bank on YouTube because that's another demographic. And it used to be mostly males. It switched because I'm going to show you something really quick. And it, and I've done this more than once. And then I'm just going to put it up and then we'll see if you see what happened or what was really different. All right, forget to pay that ones. I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm just gonna hum. You see it? Let me go to page two. Overwhelmingly, all of the videos that are ranked for making a YouTube channel 
are by the beauty vloggers. And this is why. Many of them have huge subscriber bases. I'm talking about it is nothing to see a beauty blogger with 600,000 or 1.2 million. It's nothing. Uh, beauty and uh, tutorial. Big, most profitable section on YouTube. This is the most profitable section, what these women are doing. So you, you see some like this. And if you go, I guarantee you she's hey, getting. That blew my mind. She only has 25,000 subscribers. That's kind of interesting. Let's go look at her. Because I, I like to look at stuff. Because I was going to swear she had a huge following. Because there are a lot of guys who've done these videos. And they're not getting this kind of love. Now it's kind of funny. She's not really knocking anything else out of the park. All right. Hey Let's do what I always tell you. Let's hey check guys, her out. Back to my Boom. 110,000. She looks like she's still in high school. So let's do it. Let's look at it. And she hasn't been on there that long. Less than three years. Her third year will be this September. But let's go back to... Let's look at another one. Now, that's kind of funny. Must be about keywords in the tags or something. Because, see, she's got the 630,000. And, oh, let's go here. There we go. She's got 22, 200, I'm sorry, excuse me, 226,000. Let's go here. I'm doing this for a reason. She's got 32,000. Now, let's go back. We see one guy, two. Look at this. She made this two months ago. For some reason, it's like her YouTube videos, they get a lot of love. She's doing something correct. I'll come back later and figure it out. But Okay. Hello everybody, I'm Dave from Black Rose and I'm gonna Gamer be Channel. Let's look at something else. I'm just showing you what's going on and why YouTube is the way it is ah here's a dude with some decent um numbers for his video guarantee you she's gonna have oh seven hundred thousand subscribers okay i've shown you enough i think you get it typically what happens is they'll do this video and this is how it works and their subscriber base will elevate them to a certain view count very quickly, usually the first seven days. Then at that point, YouTube algorithm takes over and starts pushing that video. So they get the lift of their subscriber. And this works for not just them. It works for anybody. If you do a video and you get a lot of views really, really quickly, it's going to push you and recommend you all over the place. But this group, uh, this demographic has so many members and most of them, and this is something else, the the biggest demographic on YouTube is white women or white girls, really 13 to 18. That's who watches the most videos on YouTube right now, which, bam, makes sense why they're doing so well, because they're appealing to their demographic. And that's why a lot of these girls, you don't see 30 something, 40 something women doing that. You do see them, they have channels, but they're not getting this kind of reach in subscription base because the 13 and 18 year olds want to see 13 to maybe 25, maybe 30, but don't look 30. But once they start getting past a certain age, it ain't working anymore. <laughs> it's just not working anymore because they want to see someone like them, someone that can relate to them, has their experiences, uh, someone that has gone through what they've gone through very, you know, not that long ago, so they can talk to them and give advice. So it, it makes a lot of sense. 
But this was totally different two years ago. Totally, totally different. So just to show you, that's just one of the ways that YouTube works. And it is work. It is work. So if you want to build a channel that makes money, and the reason I showed you all of those views and stuff, because a lot of them are making money, but if you want to start a channel and you're in this situation where you're not getting a lot of views, I'll show you I'll show you how to get more views than this your first year. I can guarantee you that because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. <laughs> it's just it worked out. But there's things that I could have done if I knew better that would have made a world of difference. A totally world of difference. Like I'll, I'll give you a little tip that I found late in the game. YouTube did not let you pick your thumbnails back in the day. This is a relatively new feature. Maybe 18 months, two years, something like that. The video, when you get this, let's see. Let's, I will show you one. I will go in here and show it to you. Okay. Let's see. Let's go here. Let's edit. Okay. This is 33 and a third, 33 and a third, 33 and a third. So it's going to show, it's going to break your video up in three to four parts, and it's going to show thumbnails from those chunks. If you lost your ability to make a thumbnail, because it happens, mine's broke right now, and this isn't the first time it happened. It happened a, a while ago, and it was broke for like two months, but you don't know that. Because <laughs> what you do is you put whatever image you want at the end of your video, and you incorporate enough of it where it'll pop up in one of these sections. So you'll usually have to do more than a third to make sure that it will pop up. And that's one of the things. And it's like I said, this happened before. I don't know because, you know, and this is something else too. The older your channel, and I don't know, I could be wrong, but I'm going to assume that this stuff has been on a server for a long time. And things just break or go screwy. So the older your channel is and the bigger it is, the greater chance that something screwed up is happening. Eventually they'll fix it or it'll fix itself or whatever with an update or something, but it happens. It just happens. But getting back to what I'm saying, you take my course, Project YouTube, I will teach you how to make money. I'll teach you how to do your videos better than I did the first year. And I will ensure that you will have a successful channel. Now, with that, let's just have an honest me to you chat. It's going to take that you have to be consistent and you will have to work. It's not going to be overnight, but if you stick with this for a year and if you have a business or you're building a business, this would be a tremendous marketing asset for your business. I am living proof of it. This is how I sold my books. I didn't know what the hell I was doing with blogging. This actually helped my blog because I, d I was smart enough to put a hot link on every video to my blog. And at the height, and it was urbanpackrat.com. No, you can't find it anymore. I got rid of it. It was getting 150,000. No, best month was 220,000 hits. And a lot of that was coming from YouTube. And once again, because it was getting all that traffic from YouTube, it got lifted up. And then the Google bot said, oh, there's a lot of stuff going over here. And they lifted it up and I was getting a lot of search engine traffic. And that's how it works. You got to figure out how to get consistent traffic or a big blip of traffic really quickly to make these things work. I do both. I, I have the long, long, long tail of videos. I mean, every day I get anywhere from eight to 10,000 views a day across the channel. So that helps me stay relevant. But for you, if you want to have a profitable YouTube channel, make some money, not do the crazy stuff and come out the box like a professional. I can help you because see, this is the thing. 
I have helped other people start channels and that's just not something I advertise because usually they would drag me down and email me 80 million times. It's like, look, look, and I wouldn't do it. And then one person's like, how much would it cost for you to help me? And I was like, ooh, <laughs> well, you're talking my language now. So we worked out some terms and I helped him. And the channel is not blowing up, you know, per pedestrian standards of blowing up. But that channel has helped add an extra $130,000 to his business income. So that's strong. You know, take taxes out. You still at 80 something to 90,000 dollars a year that wasn't there before so that was real strong so he's happy and there's some other people that have helped and that's one of the reasons that i'm doing project youtube the way that i'm doing it it's not i mean i'll even get into some other stuff like the whole thing about the camera you can do a lot with your iphone you can do a lot and if you watch some of your favorite youtubers and if they talk about, you notice that everyone that's making money upgrades. Everyone that's making money upgrades at some point because you can't get depth of feel with your iPhone unless you buy some of those lenses. You've got an issue with audio with an iPhone, as long as they're close, or you can maybe do a, a lav mic, you can do that and you buy a tripod. But as you become more serious about your channel, the limitations are going to start to frustrate you. You can make your videos and then there's something else. All 1080p is not created equal. The videos that I did while I was driving and I had brilliant sunlight, that 1080p is like sharp. But other 1080p is diffused when I blow it up on my iMac. And then when I use the DSLR and put that up and blow it up, it looks like I'm watching my HD TV. It's that clear. So, that, you know, you don't have to get this stuff now, but I'm telling you, if you have a channel, you start making some money every month. You know, once you start making some money, just put some funds in a savings account. Once you get up to 1500 2000 you can get yourself a serious outfit, a DSLR, lav mics, uh, road mics and it, I'm, I'm telling you because once you get into this you'll find yourself with several cameras I mean I've got a Canon I've got two iPhones I've got a web 9 let's see what is that Logitech 920 I've got the two I don't even use the computer cameras it, it's just I, I can see the difference and I'm just like I'm not going to use those and I've got a Sony Handycam. That's how I do all this stuff. And that's what's going to be required of you as you be successful. Once again, let me be 100% clear. You don't have to do it now. You may be able to get by for a year or two. But this is something else that's happening. YouTube has the ability to 4K and, you know, people don't have the televisions. Not everyone has televisions that can really emphasize that technology. But I want you to ask yourself this. Most of us, and we're dealing with those big, fat televisions 10 years ago. You can't give those suckers away now. The conversion of going from those big, fat televisions to Flat screens is one of the, I mean, it was faster than the conversion rate of people getting computers. It was, I mean, pretty much if I got a flat screen out of a unit back in the day, I could sell for a thousand bucks. Then it got to the point where I could barely move them for 200. That's how fast technology changed. I mean, the uh, television I have, I paid 1500 for it. I can get two or possibly three televisions with more features, more stuff for what I paid for that one. And they're bigger and better and deafer. That's what's going on. So you got time. I'm not trying to freak you out, but make sure that you plan for the future for your channel. Because if you're going to be serious, you're going to have to have the, the audio and you're going to have to have the clarity. Audio's first. If you have great audio, you can get away with crappy video. But you can't have crappy audio and great video. It's just not going to work. 
So with that, you will see it. I'll have an annotation here. You can go ahead and order Project YouTube and get started this weekend because I will tell you it's long. There's a lot going on there. And I'm giving you the stuff that I wish was available for me when I started because there were no YouTube guides. There's a lot of people now, but <laughs> to go to the fashion bloggers, they're telling you what they think is making their channel popular. It's their niche. If you're a charismatic young lady and you've got the gift of gab and you go there and you have a work ethic, you're going to do well in that niche. Now, say you were talking about making cakes. You can have all of that and more. And it's just not going to flow like that. It's just not. I've studied this stuff for years because they really, because the gamers were ahead of them for a long time. The gamers were, you know, because the gamers were the first people to get the network deals. The gamers, because that was a really, really big pro. And these beauty bloggers have just eclipsed them. You know, yeah, PewDiePie, whatever his name is, but as a whole, as an aggregate, that is a very profitable, powerful sector of YouTube. And it really has come on strong in the last three years. But they are selling themselves. They are doing tutorials. They're doing hair and makeup and wigs. If you come up with a great product or service, you can make way more money than they're making. And not have anything near near the views. Not even close. So just something for you to chew on. And with that, I will see you in the next session.